the turning point. What? I'm talking about this and this is how I feel. <laughs> So the maximum real zeros, the maximum intercepts, and the maximum turning points is all brought to us by the polynomial end behavior. Oh, yay. From the polynomial end behavior, check out that video. <clears throat> we know that it starts down low and ends up high because that's fifth degree and that's positive. Now what? This polynomial can do all kinds of things. Boom. And we know it starts there, ends there. It could it wiggle it just a little bit. It could wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Oh, and do that. Or <clears throat> I've just had it with this pink marker. Just, just freaking, ugh. Yeah, it could barely wiggle at all. But it has to start down there and end up there. What does this tell us? This x to the fifth means that it has four possible wiggle points. What do I mean? Let's assume that it's really aggressive. Like it throws markers? No. Like one, two, three, four, five ends up there somewhere, all right? If it is super aggressive and wiggles all over that x-axis, then there are four turning points. And what does that mean? That's four turning points. Uh-huh. And that means there are possible one, two, three, four, five x-intercepts. Five maximum x-intercepts. Could it have just one? Yeah. Um, could it have just one? Yeah. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Imaginary zeros. But how many real zeros? Real zeros happen when the graph crosses the x-axis. When the graph crosses the x-axis. So the maximum real zeros is five. And I think I'm done with this vid. Sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time.